they say this is a big rich town. Yeah, I just come from the poet's bar. Hey, bright light city life. I gotta make it this way it goes down. If I mess up, please forgive me. This is my shit. Y'all, listen. I actually recorded a whole video. I recorded a whole review. But I had these earphones plugged in that don't have a speaker. Do you know that whole damn review was in silence? I was like, fuck it. I'm not even doing a review this week. And I fucking threw away my notes. And I can't be remembering shit. So I was just like, I can't do it. I ain't doing it this week. But then I was like, I did that with the other shows. And I see other YouTubers do multiple videos, multiple shows, and they be putting their shit out. Like, but what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna just tell you the things that I wanna talk about. And I feel like that's even better because I don't necessarily wanna talk about everything. Like, let me just go person by person, okay? And I'm about to go to McDonald's real quick. It ain't even gonna be real quick because the line is looking ridiculous. How dare everybody be getting lunch right now? Let's see. How did the episode start? Look, all right, so Terry, Silver, and Ghost don't trust each other. They got a mutual distrust. I feel like Terry is on some like, I'm a black man, I did what I was supposed to do, I went to college and everything, and we got this kingpin over here making millions and millions of dollars. He got this little superiority complex, and I feel like he should not feel so good about himself. So Terry's taking the chance to tell um, Ghost, like, nigga, you ain't shit. Like, I just want you to know that. While everybody else out here walking around, laughing and shit, smiling in your face, I'm not. Because I know you ain't shit, my brother. And I mean, he's not. Ghost ain't shit. But Terry don't know that, though. And he paying you. So it's like, I understand you want to be a little, um, you want to be on your high horse. But he's paying you to represent him. So it's like, shut the fuck up. Whatever. Ghost says, like, he, the gun isn't his. Proctor ends up getting the gun thrown out. I'll be all over the place, y'all. Proctor ends up getting the gun thrown out. He's also not going to be um, his attorney anymore. They got him on that conflict of interest shit with him being the attorney for Tommy. Entra's attorney also informed Tommy that he's going to be the one that's bringing the uh, money to Tony's wife, who got the cancer. He basically telling Tommy, like, oh, yeah, it could be a setup. Like, why are you telling him that? Oh, my gosh. So, he has to go bring the $20,000. Um, basically, he has to find out anything he can about who Tony really is. What else we going to talk about? Oh. <laughs> Yo, my part. Okay, so then Tasha, damn, can y'all even see me? So Tasha and Angela meet up. Angie requests the presence of Tasha. It look, she's sitting in a little shop. Look like she was waiting for Tasha to show up, whatever. Tasha is going to knock on the window like, come on outside, bitch. Come outside, bitch. Look out the window, bitch. So Angie quickly hops up, comes outside. She tries to tell Tasha, like, they supposed to be sticking together. He lied to us both. Like, my nigga, he been lying to me for 20 years. You think your little six months of him lying to you equates to my lifetime I gave to him? Like, if you don't sit your old bitch ass down. Like, girl, bye. So you trying to win this case and you trying to pull at my heartstrings, knowing good and well, like, you didn't give a fuck about me when you was fucking him. You didn't give a fuck about me at all. So why the fuck am I supposed to feel sorry for you and your little dead ex-boyfriend? Because I don't. I don't. I mean, I do. But Tasha don't? What the fuck? 
the fuck should she care for? If Angie don't, oh. And I hear like uh, Angie been getting death threats, yo. People are fucking crazy. Hold on. So where was I? I just had to order my fish fillet. So yeah, and then Angie ends up telling Tasha about the deal that was given to um, Ghost, which really wasn't no deal. Of course, she was going behind the um, the other. She was going behind John's back to even give him the deal. And oh god, I'm just so sick of. You know what I'm feeling like with the show? I'm feeling like, why is it that Angie's the only one that's, like, kind of been safe? Like, she's being protected. She's being so protected. And I guess, could that be because, you know, she's the only female in this work environment? She's beautiful. Is it because she's a Latina woman? Like, what's going on? Because Keisha getting fucked over. Uh, Tasha getting fucked over. Like, can, can we let a black girl win? Can we let a black girl win? Raina losing. Baby girl losing. Baby girl ain't even been in no scenes. Baby girl can't even get a good wave in. You know what I mean? Everybody got an A at the end. Angela, Raina, Tasha, Keisha, and Paz. Anyways, Tasha ends up talking to Ghost like, what the fuck? What the fuck is she talking about, Ghost? What the fuck is she talking about, Ghost? Nah, she ain't call him Ghost, of course, because they was in the jail. So she's like, oh yeah, your little side bitch came over talking about she got a gift. That she had a gift for you. What the fuck? So, why you ain't tell me about this gift? Because she offered me a gift, too. And Ghost look a little scared. I recognize that look. Oh, my God. Ghost really remind me of someone that I used to know. Somebody. Oh, Ghost looking like he about to lose everything. Because I feel like part of him was kind of scared. Like, Tasha was going to um, take the bait from Angie. Because we know he ain't shit. And he don't deserve Tasha or Angie. Of course, Tasha's sticking by his side. Um, Dre is being a little schemer. Dre is trying to, um, he's backstabbing Julio. He backstabbing um, Tommy. So he gonna tell Julio that he ain't say shit to Tommy about him being later with the feds. He told Crystal Ball that Julio fucking up and like something about Tommy. Now, Tommy was mad feeling this type of way because Julio coming to him like, yo, why you not letting me in on the info? Like you gonna break, what's the name, legs? And then Crystal Ball coming to me mad as fuck and then he feeling some type of way because I'm out of the loop. So, like, could you let me in on the plans whenever you about to do something like that? So then, Tommy gonna say, that sounds like a you problem. Like, oh my God. Them being little dickheads to um, Julio is really pissing me off. Julio seems to be hurt. Julio's betrayal is going to come up in this season. Julio is gonna get that, get back. And I feel like he should. I feel like somebody need to shoot um Tommy in the kneecap. Come on, you just gotta make him suffer. That's my nigga and everything, but you doing too much and you need to suffer for your crimes against Julio. So that happened. Tommy made the drop off. Tommy made the drop off with the money. He ends up getting a little um he gets a little info about the fact that, um, about the fact that Tony and his boy has something to do with the murder of, I think it was Mario Scaletti, or Scaletti, or whatever. Um, <coughs> Markham ends up, oh, and everybody was like, who's Markham? Who's Markham? They be calling him Markham, but his first name is Bailey. And thank you to a couple of people who are reminding me how Entourage Attorney came to be the attorney for Tommy and 
and Ghost. I was supposed to go back and watch that, like, you know, the part where they acquired Proctor, but I didn't go back and watch it. So, yeah, it was like tea travel, wait, tea time travel? And Ibe the Igbo? I had and I had looked it up and mentioned it in my other video, but you couldn't hear me. So yeah, thanks to y'all too for clearing it up. I gotta go back and look at it. Markham talks to Entourage Attorney about getting him the recording. They plan to meet up, and Markham says he wants to meet at his place. Tommy demands that he be in the presence of this meeting, and we know that shit ain't gonna go well. They're meeting at at um Entourage Attorney's house. They get to the part where Tommy is killing Ruiz on the recording and Tommy walks up on some Michael Myers shit out of the darkness and stabs Markham like three times in the chest. And I was mad because I wanted Markham to be the person to reveal that um, Sandoval is the, the mole. But it looks like Angie's gonna solve that one too. Like what the fuck? I don't want John to go. I like John and I don't want this just to be him being in this season. Like I'd like him to be here for other things cause I like looking at him. Proctor is mad as hell that Tommy done killed this nigga in his house. Uh, Proctor talking about he got a guy that could dispose of the body. <laughs> Tommy's talking about um, what he said. He was like, he was like, I'm glad I didn't have to kill you. He was like, um, he was like, yeah, like finding another lawyer in New York City. What else do we find out? Oh, um, Tariq. Tariq had a bunch of money in his his room. Raina being nosy as fuck found it. Tariq might get it popping with this little thick shorty in the crib that uh, 50 done put him on to. Dre brought the uh, money. Oh, everything getting shut down. The club got shut down. Um... Keisha's shop got shut down. And... Oh. The accounts froze, my nigga. Oh, my God. Tasha checked to the school. Bounced. And it's funny because my mom said, um, watch, watch Tasha end up being broke and she got to look to Keisha for help. I was like, I know that's right. She going to have to be like, bitch, could you teach me how to penny pinch? Um, oh... The worst part, Lala has been blessed by modern medicine to be able to have the body that she does. We ain't gonna front. The titties ain't real. Maybe they are. They look good. The ass and the hips ain't real, okay? You don't got the control over your ass and hips that you should but baby girl get in the mirror and pop that booty because you should have been practicing on something for this scene with tommy her booty did not poke her booty did not grind her booty did not whine her booty did not circulate or rotate that sex scene was dry as hell and it looked like maybe Tommy was doing all the work from the bottom. Now, if a big girl telling you that, then you got a problem. Because, bitch, listen. You need to get it together, Lala. Like, what? Carmelo ain't say shit? Well. Look. Yeah, I was about to say, that ain't no grounds for cheating on a bitch. But niggas will use a lot of shit for grounds for cheating on a bitch. Anyways, that's my review, y'all. So, um, if I missed anything, I'm sorry. You know, somebody might fill it in. I'm gonna try to edit this and get it out so that I, jo I don't have nothing for, um, you know, for a review for this week. What's the name? My, there's somebody who be hitting me up on Twitter. Damn, what's his name? It's like, what up, though? I don't know. But I see you, boo. You be hitting me up. Thank you for checking for me yesterday. All right, well, thank you for watching. I'll see you later for another review of something else. Peace out. Sorry for my little half-assed review, y'all.